welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we're updating two binders um yeah so i only collect from two groups now like photo cards i collect albums for nct and ev6 but for the groups that i stand i only collect 17 and the boys photo cards and i think it's gonna stay that way for good because <laughs> collecting five people is a lot already on its own but anyway, I have a bunch of bigger inclusions for the boys to put away, and then this fat stack of 17 photo cards, and then a little bit of the boys' photo cards. So I think I'm going to start off with 17, just because it's been a while since I've done like a big stack for them. I have a mixture of incomplete cards, going 17 cards, as well as my like fan-made cards. I do want to say though that like my next binder update I'm hoping to be complete with my 17 collection for good. Hopefully that's the case um, and I'm sorry if I haven't uploaded in a while and if I do upload I only upload like binder videos just because you know that's the only thing I can film. I've been too lazy to film my unboxings. For example for Wavy's most recent comeback kickback i love that comeback um i didn't film an unboxing because i went to work and i got it like the day after i started going to a new job and i don't know it was just way too tiring so the first binder we're gonna update is my 17 collection binder nothing in this section we have the ot13 section to update and we are updating the incomplete trading cards okay so let me get those out and we'll update from there so i just have these five incomplete trading cards um i am complete with my what is this ot13 turtleneck pc collection i am so happy that this is done you guys don't even know <laughs> look see that's so fun okay so on this page we have ming hao and sung guan and last video someone pointed out that i did switch the orders so we're gonna fix that and we are complete so jongan and vernon are in their own separate section over here if you missed the last video um which is pretty exciting right let me see if i can move lighting a little uh, yeah it doesn't matter um and then here we have my last missing unit card unfortunately wait yeah unfortunately i still can't find the ot13 unit card or not unit card ot13 card i might just drop the ot13 card to be honest at this point like i'm not gonna worry about it and then I didn't go for these fan-made trading cards just because these are my favorite photo card sets of 17 and this is from Incomplete. Um, it's closed, it's all sold out, so I don't have any more. I don't plan to run another go for it, maybe in the future, but at the moment it's closed for now. And yeah, so... I did all 13 members. Um, the backs are all the same if you're wondering. It's this back that says incomplete. It's super high quality. The cards are matte if you're curious. Um, and I love them. Also, I need filler cards for these. Um, I recently bought this death box from Ultra Pro where I put like my card sleeves because I feel like that protects them a lot better and yeah if you're wondering these are the white matte card sleeves from dragon shield and i use them as filler cards okay see the backs are super adorable in my opinion and there's six cards left and we all know my favorite order for the six card setup I used to like three here, three here, but it just didn't work out anymore. So we're just going to do this layout. I'm not really into fan-made goods 
that much not because like they're bad or anything it's just that like i don't know i've never been into them but for some reason lately i've been really like high key into them you know my jongan dolls arrived today too and i might insert a picture of it later but it's super adorable okay so we have that and now we're gonna move on to the going 17 magazine photo cards so how exciting is that um how did i have it so i started there i'm just gonna shift one or one what is this one pocket just to make it a little bit different but everything will remain in the same order obviously i do age order hopefully i don't mix anything up i don't see it now but like usually someone points it out so we have two cards like two filler cards i do want to say trust me when i say this like it's so much better to use white filler cards than like I don't know, I used to use white pieces of paper and I don't know how to cut straight. So for me, this looks a lot better, but if you can do it, then like you're fine. But I think it's pretty great to use the filler cards. I always rave about Dragon Shield card sleeves just because I really enjoy them. I think they protect your card really well. Every time I send out a sale or a trade, People are always like, hey, what photo card sleeve do you use? And I'm like, oh, Dragon Shield. I love them. And you know the thing that compares to them? Like, I don't think Ultra Pro compares to Dragon Shield card sleeves. But I want to say, though, that, like, card sleeves and, like, top loaders lately has been increasing in price. And it's a little bit annoying. I did find... Ooh, dog hair, sorry. I did find a store in my city that sells them for a lot cheaper though like for sales and trades i purchased these because they're thinner and they're cheaper it's only a dollar at my like card game store but on amazon they're like six nearly seven dollars and i think that is insane so we're gonna put that there um also the top loaders at that store is only it's less than five dollars that's for sure and normally i pay about eight dollars for a pack of 25 on amazon so yeah i'm so glad i discovered that place um here i'm not gonna say the name because then you'll know what city i live in and that's like really weird <laughs> but here you go perfect oh, these photo cards are so cute i'm a little bit upset though that John and Vern, uh, Vernon, John and Joshua's photo cards don't really match the set well. Like, I wish they stuck with the red background, but you know what? It's fine. What can we do about it? So we have that. Oh, I switched, you know. Okay. Did I do that? Okay. <laughs> I always switch a member with another member somehow in these videos like i know their age order and i organize it that way so that when it's time for me to put it away like i don't mess it up but i always find a way to mess it up okay there you go perfect super adorable um i need three of these filler card sleeves also, if you see dog hair anywhere in the video, I'm, like, really sorry. But what can we do about it? Yeah, see, I already see one. You know what? We're going to pretend we don't see it. Okay, so let's flip through everything from incomplete onwards. So here's a complete turtleneck PC set with the exception of Jongan and Vernon. This is not complete. And then we have fan made trading cards. And then Going 17 magazine cards. Um, this is my favorite set 
by Flar. And then here is another Going 17 magazine photo card. And we are done with this binder. All right, and moving on to my The Boys binder. I have a mixture of photo cards and then bigger inclusions. Let's start with the photo cards because I feel like that's the most fun. Um, let me see if I can move this. Okay, hopefully this setup looks pretty good. Oh, okay, great. Um, that ruined the entire like set up for sure, but it's fine. So we have a bunch of cards here. Um, here is a complete unit card set for the start. No, this is the first. I'm still missing his live, Chumin's live version photo card. And I would be done with this album. And then here, nothing has arrived yet. And over here, oh, wait. Huh? Where did I put? Okay, no, it, that's not it. So I did finally find this card. This is the card that I was missing to complete yesterday, And it arrived earlier than most of the cards I was supposed to have on the way, but I do have both of these cards coming as well. And then here we have Q's pre-order card. Perfect. I have all of these on the way and I think I have the dream version coming. Um, and then here, nothing. And on this page, we have Q's day version and DIY version. I never thought I would find a trade for this card, but I fortunately did. So the DIY cards from Dreamlike are a little bit harder to find. But I'm glad I found those. This one's getting shipped out to me already, which is interesting. It's in the US now. But this one I'm still missing. So if you have it, let me know. And then here we are complete with Q. Let me just refresh my memory on the order that it should be in. Okay, perfect. These are great. I wish that they were pretty consistent with like how the photos are taken because for Hyunjae they're all selfie cards and then for Tommen there's one that's a self not a selfie card and then for Hakyeon there's two not selfie cards but it is fine I will live and then for film strips <sighs> so we have Q's film strip I say that with a sigh because I never thought I would collect these these are so flimsy to the point that like kind of bothers me but i really like how they are because also i pulled two of them i think these two so i'm like i might as well just collect it but this is very low priority okay so we have his chase photo card the chase version we are done with this page and then this page i think is stealer yeah so I do have a complete set, luckily. There you go. So pretty. Okay, tell me that's like not the nicest thing. Um, This one I set up a trade for and it has not arrived. So I'm just gonna put this in this spot for now and then we'll move it around if it ever ends up being um here with me and then we have the trick lenticular so we are done with that version uh and then we have pre-order benefits so i have these for hyunjae um with drama yes we have that we have the puppy pc that i was searching high and low for Okay, we'll put that there. I think these photo cards are so cute. They feel fake for some reason because they're kind of thick. But, you know, that sounds really sad. You think a photo card is fake because they're so, they're such good quality. Um, then on this page, we have Beat Road, Apple Music, and Joan Music. Cute. So the only card that I'm missing here is Miwada. 
which it's going for like $80 on Mercari Japan and that's like super unreasonable. The most I pay for it is like 8 but obviously I don't think I can find it for that price anytime soon. This photo card set, like the benefit card for this is super hard to find for any member. I had a hard time finding Hanyeon and like I can't find Changmin's anywhere so whatever. And then for Hagnon, I do have two new photo cards. So I got these gifted to me and I'm very grateful. I don't normally collect non albums, so this is great. And as for bigger inclusions, we have a few of those. Okay, let me take that out. Um, first, let's update Hyunjae. So, let's see, I think I won't have any specific order for this, just because that's way too much work to do. Like, honestly, I don't mind bigger inclusions. Like, it's not top priority for me. These, the albums came with a full set of members, by the way. Then we have this one, which it also came with a full set of numbers. And then I pulled his fortune card from Reveal. I wasn't going to scratch it, but I did. And I'm glad I did because now I know I pulled him. And then we have his dreamlike stuff. Um, I did pull his magazine, film zine, I don't know. And I also pulled a postcard. Okay, we will put that away. I will do a flip through at the end just to show it. And then we have Tomin, which I didn't pull that many. This came in a set. Okay, cool. And then this one, I'm just gonna put like that even though it overlaps. Oops, I'm sorry. We'll just keep it like that. And then for Hack, we have this set. As you can tell, it's very random how I organize bigger inclusions, but honestly, it works out in my head. Okay, we have his Bloom Bloom postcard. So cute. Okay. There is a thought, and let's do a quick flip through. Um, I'm very excited to see this collection grow. And hopefully in the next binder update, it's a little bit more complete. So cute. I love this. There you go. I'm so excited to finish up Chase, just so I can finally like be done with it. And then here, I have nothing on the way. Same for this page. And you've seen this already for Hakyeon, but we have bigger inclusions now. I decided to put them together on like 417 because these are for sure stuff that I want to keep for my top three members. Um, I don't plan to collect any OT 11 or 12 sets. And that is for sure for now. Okay. There you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.